Do you like learning here? Or do you like learning here? Yeah! Our school has been developing an outdoor learning space. Would you like to have a space like this at your school? This is Ms. Mitchell, our school's principal. Ms. Mitchell, can you tell us where the, where the idea for an outdoor learning space came from? I can. It came from Mr. Bragg and Ms. Brents, <laughs> and our staff had done research on wanting to bring the outdoors inside or get kids outside. And we have this beautiful area out back by the creek, and we thought that would be a great place to build a an area where kids can go outside and learn. What's the name of the outdoor learning center? We call it OLA. How did you come up with the name of, of the outdoor learning space? Does it have a special meaning? It does have a special meaning. Um, around the same time we got our grant, my daughter and son-in-law were expecting a baby boy. And he wasn't due until November, but he was born early. He was born in July. And so he just lived a short amount of time. His name was Hunter John Crary. OLA stands for Hunter's Outdoor Learning Area. Who was all involved in creating this outdoor space? Well, Mr. Bragg and Miss Brents were the masterminds behind most of the outdoor <laughs> space. They went and looked at different areas and got, got an idea. And then when they brought it back, we had parents, we had community helpers, we had high school students that all helped come and build things. The people at Lowe's helped build since we got a grant from them. This is Mr. Bo Bragg, our PE teacher. Mr. Bragg, who uses the outdoor space and how have they used it? All right, Weston, well, everyone can use the space. Uh, at our school, all of our classrooms can come out and use the space. Uh, we have stations here on our sign that they can use and we can use them for team building purposes but beyond that we like to use them for educational purposes with our classroom content so it can be anything from team building to problem solving and critical thinking uh, to developing personal skills uh, like uh, speaking and listening uh, but then even beyond that bringing in math content and science and writing so our space is broad enough and open enough that we can use those things for for our content in the, in the classroom how do you keep the space maintained we take care of Ola uh, as a community, and so we start with our classrooms, and each month uh, a grade level is assigned a month to come out and clean up Ola uh, by picking up trash or loose sticks or branches that are in our pathways, and they stack them up to be mulched later. Uh, we also have uh, families and watchdogs that will come out uh, twice a year. We have a fall cleanup and a spring cleanup, and we'll basically do the same thing. Uh, but we take it a step further by cutting down logs and reusing it in our space uh, and those sort of things from, from the winter months and the summer months. Mr. Bragg, how do you take safety into consideration since it's outdoors? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, safety is very important in the outdoors and so we start with developing some norms for our, our children and staff when we're out here. Uh, a few of those norms are is that we always stay together, uh, we always walk everywhere we go, and a leave no trace policy, which means what, what's in Ola stays in Ola. Mr. Wilson is a parent who volunteers at our school. I got to help with the initial clearing of the woods here so that we could start seeing what kind of space we had to work with. We had probably 25 volunteers from school staff to parents that came in on a Saturday. We were using chainsaws and ropes and uh, pulling a lot of debris out of here so we could open up the space and see what we had to work with. And then I helped with setting these posts in the maze here. Bo and I spent a day and drilled holes for all these, poured the cement in, cut the posts down and put them up so we have a five by five grid here, 25 posts that are set up to create a maze for the kids to work through. Well, I think this space is important for our school for multiple reasons. Number one, I think that it's great that we're able to access an area that hadn't been utilized before. This was a space that was just sitting and the school has been able to take this and turn it into a learning area. It's great for the kids to be able to get outside and take their learning experience out beyond the walls of the school. You can see there are many places in Ola to practice teamwork skills. It's also a nice place to relax and reflect in nature.